So this tutorial will explain you how to use the Jack Virtual Audio system to actually send audio for each individual instrument inside EigenD to another application like for example your digital audio workstation. So what I did here on uh, Mac is I downloaded Jack OS X, uh, the latest beta version uh, to run on Lion, and once it's installed I'm just launching the Jack Pilot application that allows me to configure uh, the jack system. And if I go to the preferences, I can set up my audio driver, the audio device that I'm using here, just the built in audio devices. I'm setting up the sample rate. And then here, typically you'll see two virtual input and output channels. And I just created 18 because that gives me the two uh, typical input and output channels plus eight instruments, eight stereo instruments, so two times eight channels, which is 16 plus two is 18. So as I save this and then start uh, the Jack system, uh, so the Jack audio server will start, then I can actually run EigenD. So as I start up EigenD here, I will launch the factory Pico setup. The Jack audio system will be available for EigenD to use. So now that EigenD is started, I can go to the audio settings and there change it to use Jack router as an audio device. So, the way the jack works is that it gives you a whole series of virtual patch points where you can connect cables to route the audio in between different parts of the system. So you've got this routing section here that brings you to the connections manager where every port that is known to jack is available and you connect you can connect in between them. Now this connections manager is a little bit confusing. It's not that easy to use. So there is another application called patch age. It's still in beta form, but it's uh, it's very useful nonetheless. So you can see here the different parts of the jack system that are available. So you've got um, your playback capture section of the system. So playback will be routed to the outputs uh, that Jack is configured to use. So the system default outputs here and the capture is the system default inputs. And you can see that EigenD is present. So EigenD is now known by Jack because it's using the Jack uh, audio driver. And you can see those virtual inputs and outputs that it's created for the, for the EigenD uh, section of the system. So if you now launch Workbench, then you can actually go in and connect um, the instruments that are part of the EigenD setup to the audio ports that Jack has made available. So if you go to Workbench here, let me just make that window as big as possible, you've got the audio agent here where by default you've got two audio channels that are being routed to your audio device. So they are inputs for the audio, ag audio agent and that will then send it to the audio device uh, so that that can route it to whatever you want. So at this point now I have no audio coming through. Why is that? It's because if I go to patch it, patch age, is that audio out 1 and 2 from the EigenD system is not connected to anything. So I can connect this to my system playback and then when I play I can hear the audio coming through. Now, in the audio agent, I can create, for example, two additional audio out, uh, input ports for the audio agent, which will be sent to the audio driver. And then I can go, for example, to um, my first instrument here, this first sample rig, use the wiring tool and connect left audio to channel 3 and right audio to channel 4. And let's create a couple more like this. So I've got five, six, seven, and eight. And so that allows me then to connect the other rigs. So I've got the outputs here and I can connect left audio to five, and right audio to six, and let's do the same thing for rig three, so left audio. Oh, I made a mistake there. Let me just rewire that very quickly. So, wiring that to 7, and this one, the right audio, will be wired to 8. So now I've got my first three instruments going through the console mixer, which is eventually routing everything out of audio channels 1 and 2, 
which in the Jack system are connected to my system playback. So I can go to the first sampler instrument and have it go to the system playback, the second also, and the third also. Now, let's launch another application. So, in this case, I'm going to use Logic as my DAW. So I'm launching Logic Pro and let it start up. So now that Logic is started up, I can go to the audio preferences and make sure that Jack Router is selected as an output and input device. So when that is done, let's just, let's just quickly switch back to Patch H. You can see that Logic Pro has joined the Jack system. So let's switch back to Logic and create a new project. So I'm creating an empty project and I'm creating an audio track, a stereo one, and I will take um, inputs one and two and instantly set it to monitoring enable and to record enable. So now I'm creating a new project here. And that's my first audio track that's created. Let's create two more. So stereo, three, four, but still routing out to the same output ports. And another one, stereo, five, six, and the same output ports. So let's open the mixer here. When I play now, you can see that nothing is appearing, right? Why is that? It's because I haven't set up anything in the jack system. So I can switch back to patch H and now connect these outputs from EigenD to the inputs of Logic Pro. So output 5 and 6 now to 3 and 4 and 7 and 8 to 5 and 6. And as I switch back to Logic now, I can use my first instrument and you can see audio coming in on the first channel. The second instrument has audio coming in on the second channel and the third instrument has audio coming in on the third channel. And now I can just put Logic in record mode and start recording. And I can even record them at the same time. And once I'm done, I'm just stopping Logic and then I can remove everything from being recorded, being set as record enabled, and play it back. Now, as you see, I can see information going on. There's sound coming through Logic, but you can't hear anything. And why is that? You have to switch back to Patch Age. And you can see that in the Jack audio system, output 1 and 2 isn't routed to anything from Logic. So I can connect this to the playback of my system again. And now, as I start playing from Logic, You can hear the audio being played from Logic. So this is a short example uh, of one of the ways in which you can use Jack to actually connect uh, different parts of your system together as uh, virtual audio cables. So I hope this was useful and thanks for watching.